to bring you Dallas Cowboys Executive Vice President Stephen Jones. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, guys. Now, ob obviously the game was wildly different in the fourth quarter as opposed to the first three. Do you get the sense that that's going to be the case for most of the season, or do you see the fourth quarter as this is the team we can be versus the first three quarters is maybe where we're at right now? Well, hopefully, uh, you know, you obviously believe, we believe that our team can play like we played in the fourth quarter uh, consistently. That's what we got to get to. Uh, you know, we've been through, uh, you know, a rough patch there for seven quarters and uh, haven't played well, and uh, especially, uh, you know, the defensive side of the ball. But some of that comes with a new scheme, a new coordinator, and obviously we got off to a good start in Cleveland, but we played two really good football teams that uh, – run the ball really well, and uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, is something where we've got to continue to improve if we want to be the team we want to be. Jerry said last night he likes the personnel of this team. I'm guessing you do as well. How long do you usually go into a season before you might revisit that? I'm, I'm sure three games is too soon, but where would you get yeah. in the season where you'd be like, hmm, maybe we're off about this? No, oh, I think the biggest thing is obviously people want to point at and I'll go right to it, our running game. Uh, but when you get behind like we've got in the last two games, um, you know, it's hard to really evaluate a running game when you're down two scores, uh, two-plus scores most of the game. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously you get into a mode where you're having to hurry up and, uh, you know, throw the ball, and uh, you don't really get to evaluate uh, uh, what you have. I think we're, we're blocking it up good. I think when we do run uh, – you know, I think uh, yesterday uh, uh, Rico ran for four yards a carry. So, you know, we just got to get get in get our team in situations where, you know, we're we're not kind of, you know fighting from behind uh, like we have been the last two weeks. Well, on the other side though, that that part of trying to you know not be behind the defensive front, the, the personnel there. Do you feel you feel comfortable with what the that that personnel is at the moment? Your defensive tackles and ends. I think we can get better, uh, obviously. Uh, you, know, you know, we brought in uh, two veteran, uh, three veteran guys now, uh, you know, to try to shore up the inside part uh, of our defense. And uh, certainly with Joseph and Phillips, and, uh, you know, we're obviously trying to improve there. Uh, but I, I do think we'll get better. McCarthy said that this team is going through growing pains. And do you have faith that he can guide this team through those pains right this season? Absolutely. That's why we uh, hired Mike in the first place. He's got a, you know, a resume that shows that uh, he gets the job done uh, as a head coach. And uh, Mike's coached, uh, you know, championship caliber teams. He's won Super Bowls. He's been in uh, several championship games and feel like he can get the job done for us. Are you are you patient then with the idea that this team is a work in progress or is there a different urgency for you? No, I think, uh, you know, you do got to, I mean, as, as you start to go through the season, you want to, uh, you want to get better. And, uh, uh, certainly we had a good start in Cleveland, but then, uh, unfortunately we've had two, uh, games that we didn't, you know, we're not playing winning football right now. And, uh, I do think, uh, you know, you got to give, you know, both the Ravens and the, uh, uh, Saints credit. Uh, they're two of the better rushing football teams in this league. And, uh, we've just got to continue, and I know Zim will uh, continue uh, to get our defense to where we execute uh, on the scheme we're trying to execute on and, uh, you know, obviously get to a point where we can uh, uh, win, win these football games. One of the things that was circulating after the game yesterday was Jerry talking about how the team couldn't afford Derrick Henry do you think that is an accurate way to put it, or would you say like maybe the team doesn't value running back at paying out $9 million guaranteed? No, I think, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we and you saw what we ended up having to pay Dak and CD, and obviously we're like, you know, we're wanting to uh, get Micah under contract long term. Could you afford him for the year and then have a major cap hit uh, that you wouldn't be able to sign? Uh, somebody like Micah. So yeah, you've got to pick and choose uh, where you're going to, uh, you know, where you're going to emphasize and where you're going to put your cap resources. And certainly we've done that with 
uh, Dak and and CD and Zach Martin and uh, obviously uh, on the other side of the ball, Diggs and uh, you know you can only pay so many uh, of those guys and it's real. I know uh, everybody wants to say well you could push something out, but at some point as you push out, you're going to have to then make a hard decision on somebody uh, like a Micah and. Uh, uh, you know, I guess to some degree you're accurate. Yes, we're going to emphasize probably pass rushers and uh, the guys up front, uh, uh, you know, the guys who make plays outside with CD, uh, the guys who get the ball like the corners, like Diggs. Uh, you know, we, we do have to pick and choose where our priorities are. The On the sideline, Micah uh, was going back and forth a little with DeMarcus, CDs going back and forth a little with Dak. Do you? What's your assessment of that, and how do you feel about that kind of those kind of interactions on the sideline? I think that's part of it. I mean, these are competitive guys. Uh, these are guys who are used to winning. I mean, you know, we've had three years in a row where we've won uh, twelve football games and gotten off to good starts, and uh, obviously getting off to a bumpy start here. There's going to be frustration. There's going to be. Uh, emotion, and I, uh, you know, you, you want to see that. You don't want to see them with their head in the towel and uh, not caring. And uh, uh, so that's just part of it. When you're uh, off to a tough start like we have the last two weeks, and you get down, uh, there's going to be frustration and there's going to be emotion, and uh, you know that's part of it. That's what competitors uh, do. They compete, and uh, you know, obviously, when things uh, aren't going perfect, you're going to have. Uh, yeah, that's part of being a competitor. Some of it comes out. And I, I know you're not, y'all are on the field, but I have no doubt you're a competitor as well. Do you feel that same way? Do you, are, is there discussions or like heated interactions around the star as well after that because you feel that competitive vibe too? Oh, absolutely. You can imagine. I mean, I'm sure picture paints a thousand words when that camera flashes up to Jerry and, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's definitely uh, something uh, that is uh, very competitive inside of us. And uh, obviously we've had a lot of uh, good things happen for this franchise, but the one thing that hadn't happened, and certainly there's a, uh, you know, a spur uh, or a thorn in Jerry's heel, if you will, is, uh, you know, not being able to uh, win a championship in such a long period of time. And no one wants to win uh, I can assure you more than uh, Jerry and myself. And, uh, you know, everybody's out there competing right now. Uh, obviously, this is a, we're going through a rough patch as, as we uh, convert to a new defensive scheme and coordinator. And uh, we've just got to uh, continue to go to work every day. I think our team's made up of the right kind of guys. I think they're going to uh, compete their ass off, if you will. And uh, I know we're looking for ways to uh, – to improve this team as well. But, uh, you know, this late in the season, you know, this, uh, you know, once you get your team, there's not a lot of things you can do out there, sort of a, uh, some sort of trade, but I believe in this group and, uh, uh, we believe this group can get it done. Uh, I, I thought it was great the way they battled back. It shows a lot about this football team. Uh, they could have, uh, it could have, you see a lot of teams that just go ahead and let in when you're, uh, having that type of day through three quarters. And I thought our guys battled back, uh, showed the right time, uh, type of mental toughness to compete. And uh, I think we'll continue uh, to work uh, going forward. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, I can tell you this team right now is not looking past anything. And certainly, uh, you know, going in to play the Giants uh, in New York, they're, they're kind of finding uh, their path now. They had a big game yesterday, and uh, we've got our work cut out for us. You were talking about how obviously the NFL trade de- deadline is usually not as busy as other major sports, but do you believe that you guys have the potential assets or salary cap space that you could do something if you wanted? I know you said you like this group, but do you feel like you have the assets where you could make a move if you wanted? Every situation's different. And it's just, uh, could we take advantage of an opportunity if we felt like the situation that was there absolutely we can uh, obviously uh you know the the cap's a lot more than just about this year but we you know where where our pressure starts to hit is going forward uh you know as we t- try to have three players the caliber of Dak and cd and micah uh that's where the pressure the pressure goes so you know he, he, you know each situation's different it could be 
uh, you make a trade for a guy who's on a one year, you know, on a one year deal, and uh, you don't have the issues that come with, uh, uh, you know, the, the cap hits going forward. So uh, all these things are things that we'll measure, we'll look at, and if we feel like uh, uh, there's a situation out there that improves improves us and makes us better, we'd certainly uh, uh, do something like that. I love the insight that you can give us on the cap. I'm curious. I'm hoping you can help, uh, you know, hopefully even educate me on this. Micah Parsons, it looks like his cap hit with a club option next year is about to be 21.3, give or take. And, and I know that he's going to cost more than that in terms of average per year, but because of the way else structure contracts, won't his number actually be lower next year on the cap? So when you talk about like, hey, we got some guys we got to pay, isn't Micah's number probable to go down next year once you get a long-term deal going with him? Yeah, we certainly need that to happen. Obviously, we're taking advantage of that with CD and Dak this year. Uh, CD's number ended up being less than it was counting because of his tender, uh, just like you mentioned about uh, – uh, Micah, but at some point all these uh, all these numbers come home to roost. One thing that's unique is Dak's one of the few quarterbacks in this league that's on his second contract, uh, second big contract with the same team, and we're still paying, you know, we're still paying forty five million from the old contract uh, that's due uh, over the next uh, three years that we pushed out. So, you know, all these things are things that no one wants to hear about. There are problems, and we've got to deal with them, and we're doing the very best we can. Obviously, we are a, a team that uh, uh, really counts on uh, drafting and developing players, and uh, we're not a big player in free agency, but uh, uh, and we certainly understand when uh, things aren't going well, like, uh, like is the case right now. You drop two games at home when you're uh, you used to consistently winning at home, and you know, everybody's going to question uh, your mechanics and your process. So we understand that. We uh, believe in what we're doing. We believe in this football team, this coaching staff, and believe we'll write the ship. I, I really appreciate that answer, especially since you set up potentially my next question about questioning the mechanics of it all. You talk a lot about how the Cowboys have won 12 regular season games three straight years while also you're trying to correct your cap problems. If you feel like you're that close, would you not maybe kind of burn future years of the cap a little bit more thinking, Hey, we keep winning 12 games. We keep being in the playoffs. Why not kind of like actually push all in with the cap and maybe risk those next couple of years? Well, it goes to giving up, giving up on somebody like Mike to where you have to move on from him. Yeah. If you want to push it all out there, then you won't have, the resources to uh, pay a player like Mike, uh, pay a player like uh, Tyler Smith. And, you know, uh, that's, uh, you know, an eye of the beholder. Uh, totally understand what you're saying in terms of, of pushing it all out. But at some point you do pay the price. And, uh, and you know, it's not always the right answer to go out and pay, a, a you know, a, a big free agent. They don't always perform uh, to the dollars. So, uh, we totally understand it. I uh, understand that people are going to have differing opinions, especially, uh, you know, when we're, uh, you know, had two tough games in a row at home when we're, uh, have been consistently winning at home. But we uh, certainly understand there's going to be frustration. And, uh, but at the end of the day, we believe in our process. We believe uh, in this football team. We believe in this coaching staff. And like I said, we believe we're going to right the ship. Appreciate the time, good sir, especially the insight on the cap stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.